Well, a broken utility pole in the Glenwood neighborhood had folks worried that a child could get hurt. They've tried to get it removed for a couple of years. News 12's Jolie Poole shows us why it's been such a struggle. She has tonight's top of the story. Neighbors and community members of the Glenwood area are concerned about the safety of drivers and kids that are near this shattered pole. The Neighborhood Association says they've been trying to get the pole removed for years now. The pole was involved in a fatal car accident in 2019. Since then, it has remained in its broken, shattered state and a hazard for the neighborhood. Ooh, this very dangerous pole. Uh, it's in our neighborhood park. Uh, it's a liability on our association if anyone gets hurt. Sandifer says that the community is scared that the broken pole will injure someone or be involved in taking another life. If uh, someone's driving and, and it's a dark color pole, so if the pole, if someone comes by, and they don't see it, they're going to run into it. It's going to go into their car. The community has been consistently trying to have the pole removed by AT&T, but so far the company has failed to take care of the problem. We have talked to customer service. We've talked to the area supervisor, sent them pictures concerning the pole, and we, uh, we, we've only got one response where the pole, where they came and laid the pole, half of the pole down on the ground. The other half is still sticking in the ground with very dangerous jagged edges. As a result of this story, News 12 contacted AT&T about this hazard. In response, they say they are sending a crew out to attempt the removal of the pole as soon as possible. Reporting in Chattanooga, Joel Weepool, News 12 Now. And some good news earlier today, AT&T did go out and remove that broken pole.